In this video, I'm going to talk about conjunctivitis. Conjunctivitis is the inflammation or infection of the conjunctiva, which is the mucous membrane that covers the front of the eye, which means the sclera, the front part of the sclera, and also covers the inside of the eyelids. We can see over this picture here, the conjunctiva, the thin membrane. There are a few types of conjunctivitis, which can be divided into infectious, allergic or chemical conjunctivitis. So this video, I'll um, talk more about bacterial and viral conjunctivitis, which are the infectious types. So I'll start first with bacterial conjunctivitis. The common bacteria that cause conjunctivitis are Staphylococcus aureus, Staph epidermidis, Streptococcus pneumoniae, and Haemophilus influenza. So for clinical features of bacterial conjunctivitis, the course is usually self-limiting, which lasts for a minimum one week, and it might last for up to three weeks. The symptoms, it is of acute onset. There will be bilateral red eyes, mild to moderate itching or burning sensation of the eye, and little or no effect on the vision. We would be able to see lid swelling, like in this picture over here, and also for bacterial cause, there will be purulent discharge and papillae. So this papillae is important to note down. Later, I will explain more on papillae. So papillae versus follicles. So this follicle will be mentioned later on in viral conjunctivitis. So it is important to differentiate these two, to, di to differentiate the cause, whether it's bacterial or viral. So bacteria is more on papillae. So for papillae, there will be cobblestone appearance due to hypertrophy of the epithelium. So usually there's soft tissue supported by septa. And when there's inflammation, in bacterial case, it's innate immune response. It will cause the soft tissue to swell up, but the septa remains the same. So that's why they will cause a cobblestone appearance. And the causes of papillae are bacterial conjunctivitis, allergic or chronic conjunctivitis. So in viral cause, there will not be papillae, there will be follicles. So what are follicles? This is a picture showing follicles where we can, there is rice grain appearance. And this is caused by a different immune response, which is the self-mediated immunity caused by the lymphocytes. Unlike the bacterial one just now, it's innate immunity. So in this follicle, there will be hypertrophy of lymphoid tissue and it is seen in viral conjunctivitis or chlamydial conjunctivitis. So it is important to note down papillae versus follicles because it is um, very helpful in differentiating the cause of the conjunctivitis and later on for the management purpose. For treatment of bacterial conjunctivitis, we give topical antibiotics. Chloramphenicol is bacterial static and it is an effective broad spectrum agent. Floxacin is given in more severe cases and it is bacterial cedar. So we can also give advice to the patient for lead hygiene and no sharing of personal utensils like towel. If touch the eyes, wash hands before touch other things and kids with bacterial conjunctivitis should stay at home to avoid um, passing the bacteria to other children. So for the topical antibiotics, if the infection fails to respond to the topical antibiotic, a conjunctival swab will be sent for microscopy and culture can be very helpful to uh, detect the causative organism, but it is more likely to think of a viral cause if the medications does not help the condition. So for viral cause, next I'll talk about viral conjunctivitis and let's see how we can differentiate it from bacterial cause. The common virus that cause conjunctivitis are adenovirus, which is the most common one. Others are herpes virus, Kosaki virus, and Pekona virus. Clinical features of viral conjunctivitis, unlike the bacterial cause just now, just now bacteria is purulent discharge. In viral conjunctivitis, there will be watery discharge and also presence of conjunctival follicles, like I mentioned just now. 
So these follicles are raised gelatinous oval lesions around 1 mm in diameter and it is found usually in the lower tarsal conjunctiva and upper tarsal border, sometimes at the limbus of the eye. So this is another picture to show the follicles seen in viral and chlamydial conjunctivitis. There will also be enlarged preauricular limb nodes, lid edema and excessive lacrimation. For treatment of viral conjunctivitis, there is no specific treatment available in most cases. And although for if there is herpes infection, topical antiviral agents like acyclovir can be used. So there is no specific treatment and this viral conjunctivitis usually settles down within around two weeks without treatment. So bacteria causon is more serious. That's all for my video. Thank you.